At approximately 9.50 a.m., we received a 911 call for a building collapse at 220 O'Connell Way, which is the building behind us here. At 9.52 on arrival of the first engine company, uh, the officer reported a uh, building collapse with uh, injured parties on the ground. Uh, we had a total of six injured construction workers. Um, they were transported by, by ambulance, to the best of my knowledge, to the local hospital. Um, following that initial report, at 10 a.m., we struck a second alarm for additional personnel uh, as we're still ascertaining the extent of the uh, uh, hazard of damage. Six, uh, six uh, construction workers were transported. No additional workers were uh, injured, to my knowledge. Uh, there were 65 personnel working, uh, construction personnel working on the scene today. They have all been accounted for. The building behind us is approximately 175 by uh, 350 or so, with approximately 150 by 80 foot roof area that has collapsed. Chief, uh, what were the extent of the injuries? I have no information on the extent of the injuries at this point. Uh, as I say, they were all transported by uh, ground ambulance, to the best of my knowledge, to the local hospital, and I have no information on the condition. Do you think the collapse is caused by weather damage or structural? Uh, or? Once again, I have no information on the cause. Uh, the local building inspector will have jurisdiction on the uh, cause determination along with uh, the Massachusetts Department of Public Safety and uh, OSHA. I have no information on the uh, cause or the uh, circumstances leading to the collapse. When you guys arrived on scene, what did, what did you encounter? What did you see here? My first arriving officer, Lieutenant on Engine 9, which is located on Fabra Pia, uh, reported the collapse as uh, I indicated with a number of workers down on the ground engine. Uh, a number of construction workers were assisting those workers, and uh, their first task was to, to attempt to secure the scene and minimize any further injury, and then attend to the injured bodies. Were the injured parties unconscious? I believe my understanding is they all were conscious and alert. Uh, 